Okay, now we're going to talk about the uh, middle four strings and taking our drop two voicings and adding a ninth to those. Um, we're going to add a ninth to all 12 of them on the middle four strings, okay? Uh, and remember, we started on the C major 7 chord, C7 and C minor 7. These are three very familiar shapes for most of you, I'm sure. And <clears throat> by uh, remember the way we make a ninth chord is we take the root up a whole step. Okay, so now we no longer have a root. Uh, the assumption is that um, you're going to have a bass player playing the root, so you can kind of you can kind of eliminate that one. Because when you get to a ninth chord, um, it's root, third, fifth, seventh, and ninth. You've got five notes total, and so if you're going to do a four four note chord, you got to eliminate something. The fifth might be a good one to eliminate, but also you can eliminate the root. So um, so in this case, we're in root version. So the root is on the bottom, fifth, seventh, and third. So we take the root up a whole step, we get this, okay? So this is C major ninth, but it's also E minor seven, okay? You remember that voicing, okay? C seven, like this, take that up, and it's also E minor seven with a flat five. Um, so there's C, C nine, and then C minor ninth would be this, okay? And that's also E flat major seven. So there's our three voicings, uh, C major ninth, C ninth, C minor ninth, okay? Next one, Here's, this, is, this one was the spread out one, it's pretty, pretty spread out. Uh, we have the third in the bottom, so it's a first inversion um, drop two chord. And we, so we have an E, a B, a C, and a G. That's the third, the, fifth, the, third, the seventh, notice they're together as always, and the root and the fifth, and they're together. Okay, so now to go um, make this a major set, uh, major ninth chord, we're going to take the root, which is here on the third string. For all three of these chords, it's going to be right there on the third string. We're going to go up a whole step, and there we go. E minor 7. All right, so C minor ninth can be played like that as well. You put a, you put a C in the bass. Okay. Now, uh, let's do C7. Okay, there's C7 voicing. Uh, e, B flat, C, and G. And we take that C up to D, and then we get our D, our ninth. And that, this is a great one. It's the same voicing as this one down here. Um, this is uh, the seventh fret, eighth, seventh, and eighth, like that. Okay. All right. And then the minor ninth um, would be here. It would look like that, which is which just looks like an e, e flat major seven chord. Okay. Next voicing. So we've done this one, C major seven, this one, C major seven, and this one out here. Is the next C major seven, okay? And the root this time is on the fourth string. <clears throat> it's fifth root, third, seventh. Um, in this case, G, C, E, and B on top. So we're going to take that C up, and we're going to get this chord, okay? So that's kind of the same. Well, that is the same as E minor seven, but that's a C major ninth, okay? We put a Okay, now um, about uh, C7 like this, put C9. Okay, that would be also like this. So we have 10th, uh, 12th, 9th, and 11th. Different finger on each fret. Okay, and then the minor form of that would be, be that. Okay, so that'd be C minor 9th. We might play like this. Okay, probably familiar with that voicing. It is okay, so that's with the fifth on the bottom. All right, and the last one, C major. Here we got this voicing. Okay, we take that root up and look at that E minor seven. So the root is up here on the second string. We're in that third inversion, which means the seventh is on the bottom seventh, third, fifth, and root B, E, G, and C, and take that up like that, and you get a C minor ninth or C major ninth. We want to make a C seventh ninth. We have a B flat there in the bass. And then we have E, G, and D. So here's C seven. We take that root up a whole step, and we get this one. That's a very nice voicing for a ninth chord. It's like this one. Okay. And then, um, uh, and then the minor one. So we're going to do minor ninth, and it's there's the minor chord, and take the ninth up, and look at that. 
that's the same as a E major or E flat major seventh chord. So again, those are the the, the common tonalities. Um, C major seven, C major nine, C seven, C nine, C minor seven, C minor ninth. Okay, C major seventh, C major ninth, C seventh, C, C ninth, C minor seventh, and C minor ninth. C major seventh. C major ninth, C seventh, C ninth, C minor seventh, C minor ninth. Okay, and the last set, C major seven, C major nine, C seven, C nine, and then the last one is C minor and C nine. Okay, C minor seven, C minor ninth. All right, uh, God bless you guys, and uh, we'll we'll do the bottom four strings next.